Hi, welcome to Storytime Magic. We're glad you're here. Today we have a story called Strictly No Elephants, written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by Tiun Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. It says, strictly no elephants. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. <clears throat> See them walking alone out in the rain? It's very sad. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. Look at all the different animals playing and having a great time. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign. It says, all are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. because that's what friends do. Strictly No Elephants. It's a great book and it talks about how important it is not to leave anyone out and how your friends can help you through tough times, especially when you're feeling left out. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the story. You can click the red button to subscribe so you won't miss any more stories. And we will see you next time.